What are we doing, Mace? Going on bed dolphin. We just got to the Amalfi Coast. We're staying in a town called Minori. It is super cute, but our Airbnb is literally at the top of about 200 stairs probably, maybe, maybe even more. She brought us up there. We had to leave our luggage down at the bottom because she said the stairs were too hard and to come back for them. And we are trying to figure out how to get back down to get our luggage. Literally, it is that confusing. So from Lake Como, we had a bus ride, and we got on a train, which took about six hours, a really long train ride. And we thought, oh, this will be so much easier than a plane ride, and Not never so again. Much. Then after the six hour train ride, then we took a, a one hour bus ride uh, that went up the coast of Amalfi to, to Minori, which was pretty cool, but it was at about 10 or 10.30 at night. So you couldn't yeah. see a whole lot. Although you could like see the bus going around these like hairpin turns and sides of cliffs. And... I always was telling Jen, you always had to really trust your bus driver. And then we got to Minori and found our Airbnb. And that in itself was a little bit of a journey. It was at the top of 154 stairs. And at first we were thinking these would just be like a normal flight of stairs, but this was like old historic town Minori with alleys and stairs and all of this. So when we booked this Airbnb, it did say something about, oh, there's a hundred steps that you need to be able to walk. And we thought, no big deal. Let us show you this unique feature about our Airbnb. really learned to really like those stairs. It was nice just to kind of get a workout several times a day. The other thing, so at like 11 o'clock at night, the night we got in, our luggage was still down at the bottom of the stairs. And we thought, okay, we'll run down there and pick up our luggage. We had gotten a pizza that was gonna be delivered that we had to pick up at the bottom of the stairs because they don't deliver them in the stairs. And so we thought, okay, we'll just head down there quick. Well, we did not realize that the door to our Airbnb locked automatically. We thought, we'll just leave the keys in there and come back when we come. So to make matters worse, it's like 11.30 now and our keys are locked in our Airbnb. We have no European SIM card on our phones and we're like, how in the world are we supposed to call Maria to figure out how to get back in our Airbnb? And we felt terrible, we felt so bad. Thankfully, our neighbor up there, Tony, came out and let us use his phone, called Maria for us, got her to come back up, and as we were waiting, he brought out two beers and some water and... Oh. 
<laughs> was helping with the kids and he was like, he was just the sweetest guy. We finally made it to the Amalfi Coast. We got in last night at like 10 o'clock. It's morning, we have a good night's sleep. It's a beautiful day, it's not too hot, and we picked up some groceries for breakfast down at the beach. We're gonna play for a little bit before naps today. Why are we taking naps? traveled for a long, long time and we're up really, really late last night. Yeah, but I, I took a nap last we woke up. Really? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. You don't like that salami? How about salami? <laughs> oh, you using your digger, E? Oh, some pretty green rocks and look at our big pile. <gasps> wow. I think this is called sea glass. Sea glass. I think it's glass from bottles break and then the waves and the rocks and the sands make them all smooth and make them into little rocks. After we'd gotten done eating breakfast and taking naps, we went swimming. And just our luck, the first time Mason and I get in the ocean, we're swimming out pretty far, but it's still within the swimming area. And I'm just practicing putting his head under the water and that kind of thing. And these two guys kind of come like jogging down from the beach with a net, yelling at us and motioning with their hands and Get saying, Medusa, water. Medusa, come in, come in. And at first I was kind of confused, like, wait, what's going on? They kept yelling and telling us to come in as they're running into the water. And for a second I'm like, shark, oh my gosh, there's a shark. But that was only for a split second. And I look under, I don't see anything. And I, for some reason, like, put two and two together and maybe I saw the net and was like, oh, jellyfish. So Mason and I start swimming in and it wasn't like super urgent. So don't feel like this is like life or death. Um, but but we, we just looked up a, a jellyfish <laughs> and it can be very venomous and it can be deadly. So it I don't could know. have been life or death. We but. swim in, they go out with their net and pull a pretty large jellyfish out of the water right where we were swimming. Like. 12 to 15 inches in diameter quite large. and all the locals are going oh that's so big oh huge medusa oh my goodness and we're like you are just going to be shy okay wow um, Definitely the first time we've ever seen jellyfish. Yeah, so that was really cool. We followed it up. They just bring it up on shore. They bring it to the back of the beach and toss it in the sand. And everyone kind of just looks at it. So, first time in the water, 10 minutes in, jellyfish scare. And Mason was a little hesitant about getting back in the water, but we used our goggles and reassured him that there were no more jellyfishes in the water and went back swimming. But that was kind of that excitement for the day. like the different culture and kind of just local mannerisms and how they go around. I mean, there's kids ranging from like six to 10, oh, yeah. 11, just running around Even town. Four. I've seen some like Mason's age 
And they're just like with their other... You know, big brothers yeah. or siblings. Yeah, they just run all over town. They go swimming. There's a big pier here in Minori and the kids just jump off it. They like literally just go on the other side of the railing and jump off the pier. Um, it's just, it's so different. If we were talking about like rules and regulations in the US and just how we feel like that would not fly. There's no lifeguards at these beaches. People well, even our just boat too. Do, yeah, so on our boat ride, we have not seen one person wear a life jacket. So Mason and Ethan are just toddling around the boat with no life jackets on. So a prime example was a big like kayaking trip, kayaking expedition of probably like 20 kayakers and they were all ranging from six years old to 12, 15 years old. Like the guy, Hopefully especially to doing. the really young ones. So we're sitting on the beach watching this unfold one morning and the guide to the really young ones, it looks like he's like, okay, can you swim? Like he's making them go underwater for 10 seconds and show them that they can swim. Okay, great. Makes them climb into the kayak by themselves, hand them a paddle and says, I'll meet you way over there. And they like start paddling off. They're Moms are on shore and these little kids no life jackets, go paddling off into the ocean. And way over there is not like 15 feet. This no. is like 100 <laughs> yards out into the ocean. Yeah, and so they finally get all the kids loaded up in their kayaks. The guide goes out and meets them, and they kayak off. And we were on that beach for like 45 minutes, and they didn't come back. And so they, there's just a group of 20 kids in the middle of the ocean on kayaks with no life jackets. Our parenting style is a little bit more free range and so we feel like it fits in pretty free well. Free range, I like those words. <laughs> free range. Yeah, so kids just kind of run around, do what they want and figure it out and watch out for each other. Yeah. So it's cool. Okay, we're gonna show you the fanciest and most elaborate pastry shop you've ever seen. And gelato. Come join us. Are you tired? <laughs> yes. He's very tired. So we went on a boat ride from Minori all the way down to Positano. Positano. We had a skipper and there was about six other passengers on this boat. Um, and we were able to go into Positano. Just the boys. Thank <laughs> you. 